collected some vendor repair, uh, invoice and uh, this one. Uh, and uh, this is the configuration, right? Okay. Did you note this? Everyone, did you note this? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Not in so now we want to post this. So how to post this document entries? Okay. Now, everyone, let's see the document entry postings. For example, post vendor invoice in single screen. Post vendor invoice in double screen. So what is the difference between FB60 and F-43, anyone? FB50 and F-43. Anyone so knows? Single screen, FB60. Uh, post line item data and item data will be appearing in single screen, sir. Uh, if you go to the uh, F-43, line item data and uh, header data will appear in two different places. Mm -hmm. Good, good, very good. Some one student, very good. Appreciate everyone. Similar to FB50 and F-02. How FB50 and F-02, single screen and double screen in the GL, same to same like here. Same to same like here. Example, example yesterday in the last class, we posted FB60. Now let's try to use, let's try to use F-53. Let's try to use F-53. Same everyone. FB50, FB60 and F-43, FB60 and F-43, both are same, both are same functionality, vendor invoice posting, vendor invoice posting, vendor invoice posting. This is called single screen and this is called double screen. In the tally, if you go to tally software, we have single entry system, we have double entry system. Then here also same, either you can post single screen posting, either you can post double screen posting. Whatever T code you are comfortable, that T code you can use. Okay, and uh, let it be. Let's use F-43 if you want. So what is the accounting entry I want to post? Expenses account data to vendor. Ex Expenses account data to vendor. Even purchases also one of the expenses, everyone. Purchases also one of the expenses. Expenses account data to vendor. So last time we used FB60. Now I can use F-43. Let's go there. Either you can go to through path, T code, whatever. Everyone, concentrate here, everyone. Uh, one thing uh, I want to tell everyone for the continuation of uh, that one. Uh, for my students, uh, for Indian students, highest package is around 21 lakhs, everyone. Highest package. See, lot of students will get 10 lakhs, 11 lakhs, 13 lakhs. That is a different. But highest package is in Indian student, 21 lakhs. For abroad, around, uh, I mean, uh, $1,20,000, around 1 lakh euros, around figure 1 crore 20 lakhs, 1 crore 10 lakhs, like that, if you compare to uh, INR. Okay. So that is the highest package in our students. Please put one target. Okay. To get, uh, to achieve, become a Supurna so IT. Uh, for example, who will get highest package? For that people, we will remember Purnam IT. Okay, Purnam IT always remember for every student, even though we can write their names in here, 
who will get highest package okay so be uh, target practice more okay yeah okay. let it be and uh, everyone let's are you there are you able to hear my voice yes sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. let's post the accounting entry either you can go through path either you can go through t code everyone sap menu accounting financial accounting accounts payable document entry then this one fb 60 and f dash 43 fb 60 the last class we used let's use f dash 43 you just double click on this execute button and as usual document date posting date whatever date you want whatever date you want company code bm10 then here reference we are doing testing then this is called vendor invoice posting vendor document posting or whatever sorry vendor invoice posting na? vendor invoice posting tap 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 here 31 means credit everyone concentrated everyone contractor fee it is on a gl so gl means gl is debit 40 means debit vendor is credit 31 is credit 21 is debit here 21 is debit and 31 is credit i will give you some posting keys list of posting keys and all okay so here posting key 40 means debit 31 means credit so here it is showing 31 now if it is 31 means you need to select the vendor select the vendor select your more options click on your company code view give it here your company code and press enter uh, harsha private limited then press enter button in the keyboard the amount is called how much amount amount is called one lakh one lakh use tap 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 your uh, narration being vendor invoice posting and posting key 40 means debit then what is the contractor fee double four triple zero three in case if you are not remember number what can i do click on your browse then enter your chart of accounts and press enter here all the gls will come chart of accounts company code whatever you can enter you can enter then here you need to take contractor fee where is that this one this one double click on this then press enter button in the keyboard enter then put the star copy the amount put the plus copy the text and give it your cost center what is our cost center bm fc and press enter go to document simulate this is the one 40 means debit 31 means credit expenses account data to business partner and post go to document and display entry view general ledger view whatever view you can view you can view. the next one next one everyone <clears throat> let's do the let's make the vendor payment let's make the vendor payment <clears throat> let's make the vendor payment everyone how much vendor payment 60000 how much vendor payment 60000 is vendor payment okay let's do the 60000 vendor payment and in case if you want to go outgoing payment f dash 53 double click on your, either you can come to this path either you can go to t code f dash 53 then double click on uh, two, two signal guys listen carefully Double, don't send messages. Double click on F-53. 
enter document date, posting date, whatever date you want. Then reference, we are doing testing. Then here vendor payment. Vendor payment. Then here bank data account. Here you can take cash or bank GL. Double two double zero double zero. It is a cash GL. The amount is called sixty thousand. Then tap 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 tap. Here you can take vendor open item selection account. Means here you need to take vendor. Click on your browse and press enter. Let's take Asha Private Limited and click on your process open item. Process open it. So this is my invoice value. This is my invoice value. This is my payment value. This is the pending. Means it is not a full and final payment. It is an, a partial payment. So go to partial payment. Here payment amount. How much we are doing the payment? 60,000. So you just double click on here. Double click on here. In this field, you can double click on here. This is the invoice value. This is the payment value. Go to document, simulate, and post. Go to document and display. Here, everyone, during the payment, and here, 50 means credit, 25 means debit. 25 means debit during the payment. Okay. Do one thing, everyone. A calm card, though. A calm card, though, everyone. Let us see. For example, my invoice value, my invoice value, how much? 1 lakh rupees. My payment value, 60,000. And if you see the report, how much amount is pending? Anyone? 40,000. 40,000. 40,000 is pending. Outstanding. Open item. We are called as an open item. So here you people want to go the T-code. Yesterday we already explained. The T-code is called FBL1N. FBL1N. Press enter. Enter. So what is the T-code everyone? What, sorry, what is the vendor? Click on your browse and press enter. Harsha Private Limited. And select your all items. Example, click on here. Execute. See here, everyone. Let's see. One KR. KR means vendor invoice. Very good. One lakh. KZ means vendor payment. 60,000. Now 40,000 is pending amount. Open item. In case if you want to see the document entries, either you can go to FB03, FB03, display document. Otherwise, simply you can double click on here. Double click on first line item, click on your call up overview point. This is the accounting entry. One step back, double click on second line item, call up point overview. This is the accounting entry. Now, everyone, concentrate here, everyone. For example, for example, everyone, concentrate here, everyone. For example, BM10 and Harsha Private Limited. Harsha Private Limited. For example, BM10 have 40,000 rupees pending. To whom I want to pay? Asha Private Limited. And uh, I am, example, Punnam Venkat. I am the end user here. And uh, somebody, I am Punnam Venkat. Everyone, concentrate here. I am the end user here. Some Mr. Uh, Mr. Ramna is a end user in Asha Private Limited. Now, what Ramna is saying, Ramna is asking this 40,000 rupees. He is a, Ramna is accountant of Harsha Private Limited. 
Venkat is the accountant of BM10. SAP terminology, we are called as end users. So he's sending mails and phone calls for 40,000 rupees. Now, what can I do? I don't want to give directly uh, 40,000. I want to take some approvals. Then I contacted my manager. I contacted my manager. Hi, my dear manager. So they are asking 40,000 rupees. I, I asked for approval, pending amount. Now my manager said, everyone, concentrate here, everyone. Now my manager said, Harsha Private Limited people, they did not provide proper service. They did not provide proper service. So come and meet me once. Then we will discuss, then we can tell what is the problem, where is the problem and all. What is the problem and uh, where is the problem. So same thing I updated to Mr. Ramna. So what they will do? So this Arsha team will meet to my manager directly. My manager directly. If my manager is satisfied, everyone are you following what I'm telling? Yes, no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. If my manager is satisfied, if my manager is given approval to do the vendor payment remaining 40,000, where I want to go and post? What is the T code? T code is called? Yeah, that's yeah, that's 53. In case my manager is accepted their request, okay, let us do the payment, remaining pending payment. That time you want to go F-53, then you can do the vendor payment. The now situation is different. My manager is not accepted. No. We are unable to give the payment. We are not satisfied. No, it's clear. 60,000 is enough. 60,000 is enough. No, we don't want to give one lakh. Why? Because you did not do any proper service. They, here is query, there is query, blah, 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 blah. Okay, then fine. They also went for their office. We In the future also, we are unable to give. In case if you give, you can post F-53. In case if you are not give, then how it will become a zero? Our open item must be become a zero, right? How it will become a zero? What I want to do? Anyone? Use credit. I memo. want to post credit memo. vendor credit memo. The credit memo use different different process. Even we can use for return material returns. Okay. In the general accounting terminology, we are called as a debit memo or debit note. In the SAP terminology, we want to call vendor credit memo. So different, different purpose we can use. Okay. Even sometimes we can use to return the material. We want to post vendor credit memo like that. For this case also, we can use vendor credit memo. So why? Because in case if you give the payment 40,000, our manager is approved to give the payment 40,000. Let's go to F-53 and let's post 40,000 again. Let's post 40,000. In case if you approved, if you approved, let's post 40,000. Now it's not approved. It's clear. Why? Because their service is not good. 60,000 is enough. Then how we can close this outstanding? How it will become a zero? Then we need to post vendor credit memo. We need to post vendor credit memo. Clear everyone following my things? The here everyone, there is a two T codes to post vendor credit memo. 
FB 65 single screen, F-41 double screen. Either you can use single screen, either you can use double screen. Okay, based on your convenient. Based on your convenient. Okay, so I'm using F dash, sorry, FB 65. Slash and go back. So here everyone, FB 60, vendor invoice. F dash 43, vendor invoice. FB 65 credit memo, F dash 41 also credit memo. Okay, now I'm using FB 65. And let's check the company code first. In case it is not your company code, change the company code and select the vendor. And tap tap document date, posting date. Vendor invoice posting. Then the GL double four double zero three. The amount is called 40,000. Tap, 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 tap. Here you can give the cost center, BMFC, and enter. Hare Krishna, BMFC. Press enter button in the keyboard. Then copy this amount. Don't copy the minus. Just copy the amount, control C, paste it here. What is this? Vendor credit memo. Read the heading, company code BM10. Press enter again. Then click on here, simulate. So what is the accounting entry here? The here accounting entry is vendor business partner account data to expenses. Okay. Go to document and simulate. Simulate here. Yeah, 50 means credit, 21 means debit. Business partner account data to expenses. Then post. Slash and go back. And uh, go to FBL. Go to FBL 1 and Let's take the vendor, company code, all items, then execute. See now how much outstanding now, everyone? Zero. 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 So KG, KG means document type. Credit, 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 credit note. Credit memo. Credit memo or credit note, whatever. KZ means? Vendor payment. 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 KR means? Vendor invoice. Vendor invoice. Okay. The next one. Before going to customer configuration. One second. One second, everyone. So everyone, um, before going to start uh, accounts receivable,